Anderson taking you back to July 18th, 1929. Yankee Stadium, New York. Tommy Lachlan, world's light heavyweight champion, meets Jimmy Braddock, the outstanding young contender in a 15-round bout for the world's title. Round one. Lochran with his back to us. Weighs 175 tonight. Braddock weighs exactly the same. 175. The light heavyweight limit. Cochran's only 27 years old, but he's been fighting for 10 years. He's had 114 fights, and he's won all but six. He scored only 16 knockouts. Cochran's a favorite tonight. Jimmy Braddock on the left is only 24 years old. He's been in the ring three years, and in that short time, he's come up very, very fast. He's had 46 fights, he's lost only two, and he's won more than half his fights by clean knockouts. End of round one. From the second through the fifth round, Lachlan outboxes and outpoints Braddock. Now round six of this 15-round bout for the world's light heavyweight title. Tommy Lachlan on the left, the champion. Facing Jimmy Braddock, sensational young contender, here in Yankee Stadium, New York. Braddock's a tall, rangy boy, six feet two inches tall. And he's got quite a reach advantage over Lochran. Braddock's a terrific hitter, too. But so far tonight, he hasn't been able to do much with either his reach or his power. Tommy Lochran on the right. He won his title from Mike McTeague in a 15-round decision in 1927. Lochran has successfully defended that title 13 times. Lochran's one of the great ringmasters of all time. He's a marvelous boxer. He has the speed of a lightweight.
The end of round six. In the seventh round, Braddock tries to slow Lochran up with a body attack, with a body attack. But Lochran outboxes him and ties him up. Now round eight. Jimmy Braddock on the left. Braddock has won his last three fights by knockouts. And among those victims was the great Jimmy Slattery. Braddock knocked him out in nine rounds. Lachlan's knockout victories were scored early in his career. He started out to be a slugger and he did all right. And in 1922, he met the great Harry Greb, the Pittsburgh windmill. Greb gave him an awful lacing. And Lachlan decided to learn more about boxing. Since then, he's become the best. Cochran's never been knocked out, but he has been down twice. Jimmy Darcy and Gene Tunney both knocked him down. From the ninth through the 14th round, Lochran is in complete control. Braddock tries desperately, but the champion gives him a good boxing lesson. Now the 15th and last round of this battle for the world's light heavyweight title between champion Tommy Lochran and Jimmy Braddock here in Yankee Stadium, July 18th, 1929. Lochran on the left. Lochran had to train harder than usual to get down to 175 for tonight's fight. Making the weight is getting tough for him. He says this is his last fight as a light heavyweight. Win, lose, or draw, he's going to campaign as a heavyweight from now on. Braddock's making a fine showing tonight. He's won a lot of friends. If Lachlan really retires, Braddock will have to be considered in line for the title, even if he loses this fight. Just 45 seconds left. Braddock trying to get inside Lochran's defense for one clean shot. 
Braddock's only chance to win is by a knockout. He knows it. Time's running out. It's over. Well, there's no doubt about the winner. Braddock knows he's lost, but he did get a great boxing lesson from one of the greatest masters of all time. Well, here's the decision. Tommy Loughran gets the unanimous decision and retires as undefeated light heavyweight champion.